Um, hi everyone. Um, it's been a while since we have recorded the six episode. I think it's been like several weeks. I think so. Uh, right. like two weeks. Oh, like two weeks. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, today we are going to react to the vlogs, the behind the scene vlogs, mm -hmm. to see um how they deal with the. Uh, the, the, the last episode especially the kissing scene okay. <laughs> the sex scene <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah I'm still shy thinking like <laughs> looking at it you know yeah uh, anyway so and um, yeah uh, me and Shanda we are at different time zones so it's a little bit challenging for us to line up the schedule to shoot together. Mm -hmm. And uh, Shanda is the person who does the editing job. And um, it's, very, it's also very overwhelming. And I really appreciate her work. But um, she makes my face so big. <laughs> <laughs> was not that full in my whole life <laughs> even my in face my was profile big. picture <laughs> <laughs> it's full it's occupied the full frame no my face was too close i don't know what i'm doing i was just winging it and anyway so that's a fix it okay so <laughs> my face is that that big in real life okay <laughs> it's fine it's fine anyway so let's start the reaction, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like I like to get reactions out of people too. So if I get a good reaction from you, I'll keep teasing you. Yeah. สี่ค่ะแต่ว่ามีคนสองอีกสองเขาตัดไปที่โปรไฟล์ค่ะเราเป็นคนที่จะรู้สึกผิดกับคนนี้ไปไปเองใช่แล้วเราเด็กอ่
บางคำครูขึ้นพวกเราไม่ขึ้นก็ได้แล้วความสนุกของ acting คือทุกคนอยู่ในซีนเดียวกันเจอเหตุการณ์เดียวกันรีแอคของแต่ละคนต้องไม่เหมือนกันรีแอคมันจะบ่งบอกทัศนคติเลยว่าตัวละครตัวเนี้ยไม่เห็นด้วยหรือไม่เห็นด้วยกับเรื่องนี้ไม่ว่าจะหัวเราะไม่ว่าจะเสียใจไม่มีเลยแต่คนนี้คนเดียวที่สามารถเราคนหนึ่งก็ว่าแบบเนี่ยมันมันคืออะไรไม่ใช่เกลียดนะเกลียดเกลียดยศเกลียดเกลียดเกลียดเกลียดยศแบบสมมติว่ามีคนมาแบบแม้กระทั่งตอนที่วาดรูปอยู่ก็ยายของเขาอะวันที่ไปงานโรงเรียนก็จะแบบตัวคนหนึ่งเองก็จะบอกว่าเดี๋ยวเธอก็รู้ว่ายศนำหน้าฉันอะไรเออShe actually, um, like her background. I think she does value it, like the because they're royals. We know that now. It's like a royal thing. And she, in that situation, she used it to her advantage. เราจะบังหน้าพี่ป้ายเราดูแองเกิลแองเกิลกล้องมาฝั่งนี้ใช่ไหมทุกครั้งได้ทุกอ่ะพร้อมแอนโกโอ้โหเขาเรียนกันก่อนใช่ไหมทำไมเขาจับเลยตอนนี้ของหนูมันมันเยอะทำไมShe doesn't have a lot of experiences. <laughs> yeah, she was like, "Okay, I'm going in." She, she doesn't know where to put her hands. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just push yourself to that person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell they have a good relationship off screen too, though. Yeah. I think that's that's why their chemistry in the um in the series is good. Yeah. But it's similar, a little similar to her character too, though. So. Yeah. Sometimes the improv is better. Yeah, she's shy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's shy. That's coming. But she's also she's also a young actress, so she doesn't have as much experience. Uh, 
I think she has a lot of experience, but I think she doesn't have this kind of character before, maybe. Mm -hmm. She has a lot of acting experiences. Oh, she does? According to what I know, but uh, this kind of character, maybe she doesn't have a lot of experiences okay. with this kind of character. Yeah, like form the bond by like hugging, you know, like mm -hmm. เกิดแค่ไหนคือโอ้ยยังอยากฟอร์มมึงอยู่สําคัญมากกว่าคือทําให้มึงหายเครียดอ่ะอันนั้นกูจะบอกเข้าอีกทีแต่รอบเนี้
คือหมายถึงอะไรเราเคยจุกกันแบบนี้แต่ว่าวันนี้มันมันจุกแบบแบบพี่ฝ้ายกินไปเลยโอ้ my god โดนกินอะมันเป็นคำแรกที่เป็นแบบนั้นก็เลยแบบโอ้เป็นยังไงคะ Oh my god ค่ะดีเยี่ยม<laughs> okay, we have finished watching the um, the vlog. Mm -hmm. So um, I think yeah, the in the in the in the episode, it's it, it's been better, definitely. And um, in the vlog, you still feel like um, you feel like. Um, a n o n g you know, is not the, the 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 character who tried to carry on, like you know, take the initiative. Like a P five mm -hmm. was still like helping her, you know. Yeah, she's yeah. really helpful. She's like kind of like a mentor. Yeah, yeah. and uh, P five like was like trying to help her out, but in the character or in the book or in the series, Yoko should be the one who leads leads the whole like. You know, action. You know, mm -hmm. take the initiative. So definitely, in the episode, it was better. Okay, and uh, I can understand. Like Yoko was like nervous, and uh, she was like really like pressured and overwhelmed. You know, because mm -hmm. she doesn't have. It's, it seems like she doesn't have a lot of um, this kind of hot and this sexy scenes. <laughs> Yeah, like those intimate, in her, those intimate yeah, scenes. Yeah, in her previous experiences. Yeah. So, yeah, and um, and also um, yeah, I think it's 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 funny. It's really funny, and it's very nice to see them, um, to interact like behind the scenes, you know, and mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's kind of, you know, how to say it? Like it really soothing. After the big ending of six, the the, the six episode, like that, like the episode six, the, it's kind yeah, of the soothing. Season finale. Yeah, it's kind of like really relieving. Yeah, so it kind of like lifts. Yeah. yeah, it lifts. It kind of yeah. lifts your heart a little bit because, mm, like, yeah. you can see how happy they are with each other, and they have mm. a good relationship mm. off camera. Yeah. So it's nice. It's nice to see that. Mm. Yeah, exactly. make you feel like a little better. Yeah, yeah <laughs> about yeah, the ending. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we we will also talk about like um in general our ideas about the whole series because last time, Shanda blamed me not <laughs> blamed me for not recording like enough because she definitely had a lot of things to say but I just cut it off because I had a really bad headache. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I so, had a lot of things I wanted to say, but I don't remember them. Okay, so it's, then, it's then lost. It's, a, it's lost the yeah, time. Yeah, and let's just to talk about it, like in general, just to, <clears throat> you know. Mm -hmm. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is the sex scene. You know, like in on that kind of um sad occasion. Um. Like personally, I think it's 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 a it's it's an occasion. Uh, it. I don't think it's unnormal. I don't think it's un like I would say no. I would say it's uncommon, but I would say it's it's not abnormal. For me, a lot of people actually like when they're mm. grieving. Um, yeah. people will do that, and I mm. think for some people they may find it weird, but mm. when you're grieving, everyone grieves differently. So yeah. you're going to you're going to behave yeah. irrationally sometimes. Yeah, a little out of control. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Also, they want to get over the grief. That's yeah, why they want and to do something that's um, make you that feel can, good. Yeah, feel feel good. Mm -hmm. And um, I think from Yoko's side, I can see why she does that because. She has been depressed. Ah, uh, she has been suppressed her 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 desire for 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 Kunnan for so long, 
you know. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> that even small like a touch can trigger like the her desire inside her. Yeah. Even though she knows it's not a good, you know, occasion, but she cannot help it, you know. Yeah. And she tried to stop it, but could not just um, grab her back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Which was surprising because yeah, it seems so out of character for her. Mm. But and we talked about it. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh yeah, we talked about it. Kunai just lost her control at that moment, mm-hmm. and she just followed her heart, followed her emotions. She yeah, knew... like her true desires. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, and also, I want to mention that um, I don't know from my personal experience. I feel the same way too. It will be a little. It sound a little. It will sound a little awkward, but when someone like you really like or you really love cries, actually, at that moment you can feel that person is really like beautiful. I can. I, I know it will. Like it may sound a little like weird, but when that person like um showed their vulnerability and when they cried, it's really like you know you want to protect that person and you want to mm-hmm. um like hug that person and you want to comfort that person, but at the same time you think that person is really beautiful at that moment. I don't know if it makes sense, but for me it makes sense. That's why kind of. I can understand Yoko. <laughs> I can understand Yoko. Yeah. Because that kind of vulnerability is really precious and beautiful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. So anyway, um, like, don't target at me. It's just my personal thoughts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so um, like in the series, the Oh, main well, issue, huh? We didn't finish. Uh, we didn't finish talking about the sex scene. Oh, okay. Yeah, continue. Oh. Something I wanted to mention about the sex mm. scene that I actually mm. appreciate. Mm. I understand, like it's YouTube, so they can't get really explicit. Mm. But I think they handled it really well because mm. throughout the series, we it, it wasn't overly sexualized, which I really mm. appreciate because that mm. happens a lot of times with with any like queer stories. Mm. It just gets derailed and it focuses mm-hmm. on the sex instead of the characters and the storyline. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I like that even though like, you know, the sex scene, I, I feel like it was still important to the story. Mm-hmm. They didn't get explicit. It wasn't uh, demeaning. And, mm-hmm. you know, we didn't get a lot of, uh, it wasn't very long, but mm-hmm. we still can understand like mm-hmm. what happened between them and that it was mm-hmm. beautiful for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You can still like feel the passion, mm-hmm. feel the, 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 it's intense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And of course, like when we're watching it, we we're just like, oh my God. <laughs> Cause we did, we also didn't expect it. <laughs> I'm like that when I watch yeah. things even by myself, I get like super embarrassed. I'm like, oh Lord. That, that scene is hot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why maybe I cannot still like watch it. Watch it again. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try to watch it again. But I don't know uh, if I can, if I'm able to. Um, but it, because I'm too, sh- like I, I, I feel really shy while watching, watching that scene. I, I, yeah, We're both I, shy. I, I, you know, I still feel shy. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, and. Uh, I think the main uh, conflict, the main issue of this storyline is that the age gap, right? Mm-hmm. And um, it's the main um, issue, both for the um, book for, and for the show. And uh, in the first place, I heard, of course, I heard, but I don't know if it's true or not. A lot of people criticized the show because of the age gap and they're afraid of um like the senior would groom the minor and oh really issue yeah but okay um yeah and uh and i even heard some people just to go after the actress and i was oh, like per- they went after them personally yeah 
So um, I was stupid. like, yeah, you should not do that. Mm. They are actresses and they are just yeah, doing so their they're, job. Yeah, yeah, they're doing their job. Yeah. And uh, and they weren't doing, it's not like they're doing anything that's inappropriate or um, yeah. mm-hmm. demeaning or that's hurtful mm-hmm. or harmful mm-hmm. to any group of people. Yeah. And um, also, like, actors and actresses, they are in a position being chosen, you know. They are not, a lot of them, they don't have the power or they don't have the position to choose what kind of um, like arts or what kind of pieces they want to be in. A lot yeah. of them are in a position being chosen. So, you know, they have to like value every opportunity to be on the screen. Yeah. You know? Yeah, they job. can't be too too. Yeah, they can't be too yeah. choosy because yeah. you don't know when the next role is going to come. Yeah, and also this, I t- like we have said, this storyline is really challenging and uh, really interesting, actually. And mm-hmm. it's not something that you can easily see on the screen. And uh, from yeah. the GL series. So I think it's very like refreshing, you know. It's a very fresh story in the GL series. So mm. that's why I was really interested in the story in this series because I was like curious about how they would deliver the story, how they would make us feel comfortable, you know. Yeah, even with because, those big big age gap. Yeah, yeah, because I am in real life. I'm not comfortable with such a big age gap. Yeah, yeah. Especially at the time of life that they're both in, because mm. um, Anung is twenty. And yeah. Anung is 36. Mm. A lot of times, it, you know, in real life, we know there's a power imbalance. And I know some people yeah. are, they're fine with the that age gap, but there is a big mm-hmm. difference between 20 and 36 mm-hmm. and 30 and 46. Time of life, mm-hmm. life mm-hmm. experiences, where you're at personally, like financially. Mm-hmm. But in the story, um, it's interesting to see that the older mm-hmm. woman is not pursuing the younger woman. It's the other way around. Yeah. And Anung, Actually, is it, <laughs> yeah, Anung <laughs> pursues her pretty hard. Yeah. I, actually, she's, I think Anung she's aggressive. <laughs> I think it's all like the opposite. Like Anung actually, like several of her like lines are really like grooming, you know. She actually <laughs> grooms, <laughs> grooms Kunung. I was like, she was like, oh, you had a limited edition, you know. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you're just waiting for me to be born. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. like really like grooming. I was like, Kunung, you are actually really innocent, okay? And uh, you are groomed by Anong. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's just a joke, okay? Um, yeah but it's the mm-hmm. it, it's it's um it's art it's a story yeah. and it's an mm-hmm. interesting story to mm-hmm. tell and there, nothing mm-hmm. inappropriate happens like even though mm-hmm. you know it's a large age gap they are both adults yeah and it starts at, at least like in the show i don't know about the book but at least in the show it starts with anung being 20 so mm-hmm. she's an adult yeah yeah, yeah. Um, but in real life, mm, don't like reflect the show to the real life because in mm. real life it's not that beautiful most of the no, time. No, there's a so lot more just, difficulties to go through. Yeah, just be conscious and just be like cautious when you are considering about in a relationship with that like a big age gap. Okay, mm-hmm. there was um. There was a really shocking news in Korea, like recently. It's about like a celebrity, a dancer, really like famous dancer dating this minor. And it was a huge issue. And um, so most of the time, it's not a beautiful story. So just to be careful, okay? Yeah. (laughs) And I also want to talk about the domestic violence part. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, it seems like there is actually domestic violence going on in the series. And Mm -hmm. uh, I am, like, 100% against it, okay? Because 
it's like domestic violence is really tra traumatic to your children. Also, uh, and also it doesn't you know solve anything. Mm -hmm. They can get PTSD from it, and they were mm -hmm. not able to deal with really like fierce conflicts in their future life. Okay, if they have problems controlling their temper on that kind of on that kind of occasion, it's very likely they will end up in jails. Okay, and uh, screw up their lives. So don't try to use the domestic violence to, you know, like to solve to, the to, issues. Yeah, to 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 guide your kids. Okay, that's that's the wrong way. It's just an expedient way yeah. for those parents who doesn't want to use their brains. You know, mm -hmm. so I know, um, like, I I know how in my culture beating your kids is seen as like normal mm -hmm. and people think it's just discipline and it's the same in Asia. So I know, um, Trust definitely me, it's like, <laughs> I, I know, <laughs> yeah. but like, I don't know if they were trying to show, um, definitely it was a little more extreme than it is in other cases. Like, mm -hmm. but, uh, because like Anung even told um, Anung's mom, she was like, do you know that your mom is beating her? And she was like, what? Remember she went off on her mom. She's like, are you beating her? Um, mm -hmm. Which I'm glad that she did address that to her. But definitely it was, I don't think they meant it in like, oh, she's beating her and that's bad. I think it was because it was seen as a little more extreme. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, yeah. And also because she's that older too. Hmm. I can I can I can understand her. Um, her grandmother was traumatized too because of her uh, because of her daughter because yeah. of her daughter having like um, a child when she was like only sixteen years old. Yeah, and she was traumatized too by that accident. We can call it an accident. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Yeah, and uh, she has the problem. Like she has like some psychological problem herself. That's why she like she acts out in that know, way. Act, yeah, acts out that way. She needs to you know get some therapy too. Mm -hmm. okay? But she's an adult. She needs to realize what's the problem. But she just uh, resorts to domestic violence. Yeah, you know, probably happened to her so, too maybe <laughs> yeah i mean we we don't know yeah. we don't know yeah. but we can just assume because based off mm -hmm. of how she's acting yeah so yeah and um then um i really like the like i have to like i have mentioned it in like previously i really like the temple of story t of the storytelling yeah like the series wise but i feel like also but but however i feel like um they shoved a lot in last two episodes too so mm -hmm. the tempo was a little like interrupted from me. yeah yeah um so there are also some time jumps definitely because mm -hmm. we have mentioned it uh preparing for the i don't know uh, like in Korea and in China, if you prepare for the national exam, you have to prepare at least a half a year. For studying, at right? Least. Yeah, at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when I was like preparing it, it was like that. At least like we prepare like the whole year. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely a, like a time jump there. And um, so... I really liked the temple in the first four episodes, but I think the temple in the last two episodes was a little like disrupted, like interrupted. Yeah. Yeah. So what it, do you think though? Uh, yeah, it felt a little rushed. Um, and I don't know if it's because they were trying to wrap everything up and finish mm -hmm. the show, because we don't know um anything about mm -hmm. like the budget of the studios and. Mm -hmm. if they had any idea that they would continue the show and they probably mm -hmm. didn't anticipate it being this popular um because it's mm -hmm. reached an international audience which i'm really happy for for them mm -hmm. but um i do appreciate that they did pack everything in even though i wish it could have been a little longer because mm -hmm. even if the story wouldn't 
be able to continue, we would have like semi closure at least. At least we'd yeah. know what yeah. happened with the story, mm. yeah. and we'd feel yeah. like okay, it sucks that it's not going to mm. continue, but at least we know what happened instead of mm. being left hanging like a lot of other shows do. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, but in general, it's a really good show. And yeah, I love it. <laughs> I really like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, we really like it. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I'm happy that they Yoko and um, Fai. Yeah, because okay, so they. I thought her name was Faye because I was like trying to like read it phonetically, but I, when, I I'm still a little confused though. Yeah. But in when we were watching the uh, the behind the scenes, they they definitely mm-hmm. said P Fai. Yeah, and it was written well, that way. But what does P means? I That's what I want to know. know. I'm confused. Like, <laughs> what does it stand? Know. Yeah. What does it stand yeah, for? What does that stand for? Yeah. What's what, what? What does that stand for? If someone knows it, they Princess. tell us. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that matches. Uh, I mean, I don't prince. know. Don't She's know more that. like a prince. A prince. Prince. <laughs> uh, um. Anyway, I'm really happy that they have this kind of closeness towards each other, and um. They it seems like they have a really like great bond. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And uh it's a it's a really great relationship and it's um it's a beautiful relationship. And I uh, I will not, you know, expect beyond that because it's not it's not something like that. No, I they're friends. They like, yeah. They're friends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they they're friends. Of course I know a lot of fans they expect more from them, but don't do don't that. push don't push that on them they're actors no. they're doing a job yeah and it's it's great jobs. that they can be friends outside of their role yeah because then yeah. that transfers yeah. onto the screen we can still see that chemistry yeah yeah i'm really happy that they can i, I will be really happy to see this kind of uh like close friendship can continue you know? yeah and yeah and um yeah it's it's a really good series. And uh, do you have anything you want to talk about? I don't want you to blame me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you have to throw me under the bus. <laughs> um, you know how my memory is, goldfish. I had a yeah, whole bunch are. of things I wanted to say. And I should have just wrote it down. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Yeah, overall, I, I, I love the show. Um, mm-hmm. because it it's it's just nice, like I mentioned earlier, seeing uh a, mm-hmm. a, a a love story, a queer mm-hmm. love story where mm-hmm. you actually have like the plot line and you can see mm-hmm. the character development. Mm-hmm. We can understand why the characters are the way they are. We don't mm-hmm. have a ton of background, but we do understand why Anung is um she does she's kind of isolated because of her grandma and mm-hmm. we understand a little bit about kunun's background because she wanted to escape the mm-hmm. the pressure from her family mm-hmm. cuz she's from a mm-hmm. she's from a royal family so of course there's going to be mm-hmm. that pressure from the family mm-hmm. and then society mm-hmm. and i am looking forward i'm happy there's a second season i'm looking forward to seeing mm-hmm. that and how yeah. The characters are going mm. to develop and mm. how their relationship they come on mm. we know they're gonna stay together mm. they're gonna get back to each with each other because it's mm. it's a story yeah yeah and i know I, i'm very sure about that because um, they have already paved the way before because they when they have problems they were able to like solve it yeah you know eventually yeah 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 eventually they have set the example before. That's why mm-hmm. I'm not worried at all. And I know Kunung, even though she's really like proud and stubborn, but she's not the kind of person who will, you know, um, not admit her faults. I think she will eventually do it. <laughs> yeah, she in will her way, do it. Yeah, in her way. Yeah, and um, I really, I also really hope uh, Kunung's grandma can leave her some letters Mm -hmm. something like that because it seems like there's a an open end for her and her grandma yeah and um if it continues like this i don't think 
it will be really smooth for Kunneng to pursue um, Anang back because yeah. there will be still some like psychological um, barrier because she knows that her grandma doesn't like it, doesn't allow it. Mm -hmm. So that's why I hope uh, her grandma can leave her some letters saying that she can go there to pursue her own life, pursue her, her own happiness. Mm -hmm. Only in that way, she can just, uh, you know, pers like get Anon back without any hesitation. Yeah. So that's just my small, like, you know, expectation. So... We don't know what will happen. So that's just I, a, yeah. But I feel like something yeah. something will happen there because it just felt too open ended mm -hmm. and they did focus yeah. a lot. They not a whole ton, but they did focus on the grandmother's like death a little mm -hmm. bit. So mm -hmm. I'm thinking there's going to be some closure there eventually. I'm hoping. Yeah, I at hope least. so. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. And um yeah, let's see. And also, like, we are at, you know, different time zones and we are, like, busy with our daily lives. So we may not be able to update you, like, on that time. That quickly. <laughs> yeah, that quickly. So, but we will still, like, do some, like, interesting projects. So yeah, just cause... be a little, like, stay a little bit, like, patient. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because it's me. I'm slow. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh no 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 no. You did a great job, and I really appreciate your hard work. Oh, thank you. Because if it was not you, we were not able to upload those videos. Mm, so. I stayed up late. Yeah, I really appreciate <laughs> it. So okay, so see you on next videos. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.